Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Meetings. Let's see what message comes through. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. If this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. There's something about Divine Masculine being shocked about information from the past. This has to do with Divine Feminine reaching out. Divine Feminine, you tried to reach out to Divine Masculine here through some sort of call. Whoever this resonates for, I do see here that there's a Divine Feminine who is trying to reach out to Divine, Fem Divine Masculine in the past. Some kind of text message, call, something having to do with your phone. Uh, this, this communication, there was some sort of block. Um, by not receiving the messages or the calls from you, Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine automatically assumed that things were not as good as they they thought they were. So it's like they, they created some kind of um, image about your connection that, oh, Divine Feminine is not reaching out to me. Divine Feminine is not calling me. I guess they didn't really they didn't really love me as much as I thought they did. So this is something that created some sort of illusion or some kind of, um, I feel like, uh, misunderstanding in Divine Masculine's mind. And this is something that they carried for them for a long period of time because I see here that it, it was something that they constantly thought about. It's like, even if Divine Masculine was the one to step away from the relationship, they they felt like you love them. And in this case, I see here that Divine Feminine, you did reach out. You, you did your best. You did your part to try to reconnect with Divine Masculine. But from Divine Masculine's end, because they didn't receive that communication from you for whatever reason, uh, this Divine Masculine assumed that you didn't didn't feel the same way as you thought as they thought you did. So they became bitter about it. It's, can you imagine if this Divine Masculine was the one who walked away from Divine Feminine and then just because they didn't receive a call or text message from Divine Feminine, they got bitter towards Divine Feminine here. But they were the one who stepped away. But I see that there was some kind of interference with the communication. There was some sort of block. Some cases it can be... Um, it can be something that has to do with an individual that that had created that that block in communication. But I feel this has to do with the divine because it's see here divine intervention, not allowing that communication to come come through or to go through um, because of divine timing here. So it was not the right time. I see here that it's a blessing in disguise for divine feminine here because that communication did not go through or divine masculine didn't receive all the messages or something like that this worked in divine feminine's favor though at the time it may not have seemed like it but i see here it worked in divine feminine's favor here it was to end some kind of thought or some kind of um it, it shows here like a strong attachment to to the the outcome or to the reunions like say if this divine feminine was somebody who was very eager to to reunite with divine masculine here because of that um that um, block in communication it did create some kind of distance between the two and this distance was actually in divine feminine's favor so what did it do for Divine Feminine here? I see it made Divine Feminine quite strong. Um, this Divine Feminine learned a lot about um, patience. We see her patience. This is someone who became very patient when it came to like a lot of patience. This could be like years, years apart where this Divine Feminine is now at a point where they feel quite strong in who they are. They feel quite strong in where they're at because I do see here that this divine feminine continued to move on their path 
um, there I do see a strong bond with God, um, connecting very closely to God. You built your relationship very close with God in that time of separation between you and Divine Masculine, which is important because that is the first strong bond connection that you should have, right? But I feel like this Divine Feminine may have been a little bit distracted in the past when it comes to emotions with their counterparts. So this delay, this, um, this separation, this um, block in communication was for Divine Feminine to build that strong bond with with God here. I see here that you move forward. Uh, it made you very strong. I see your strength. There was a lot of inner work that you had to work on as well. So it's not just divine masculine, right? If you think about it, who you are today, you are so different. You've grown so much compared to who you were before. You probably won't even recognize your past self, right? It feels like another person. The way you used to handle the situation, the way you used to feel emotionally, like you're much stronger. You have evolved a lot. So I see here, this is a divine feminine who's very strong now. You have built your own home. So your own home from within. And even in the external, you have created a good life for yourself. And some of you continue to work hard because you have these goals. You have this desire to, to grow and it's not easy, no. I see here that there is a lot of things that you had to go through. This divine feminine here emotionally, it was very difficult to detach themselves from the connection itself, meaning that to focus on you. Because while you were trying to work on yourself, while you were trying to do things for you, the constant reminders of the past, the constant reminders of divine masculine, the emotions that are connected to those, those memories of the past, we're still there. But now I see here that this Divine Feminine, it's like when you think about the past, it doesn't interrupt or disturb or interfere in any way with your current situation. So if you have a plan or goal in mind, you're focused. You're more focused here. I see here, Divine Feminine, you know your truth. You know what the truth is. You've, you stood by your truth. I see here that if Divine Masculine were to reconnect with you, send a message, contact you, I see here that the communication, you will be open to that communication. Um, you will speak your truth, but I see here that there's not much emotion attached to that truth, meaning that you will not have a grudge, you will not be bothered by it, you will not get too emotional over it. It's like you will just, just speak as if you're speaking to somebody you know, just not, not your counterpart. It's just like how you would react in a situation with, um, like having a conversation with somebody else. It feels very natural. It feels very uh, neutral. It feels like at ease. So it doesn't matter what the conversation is. I feel like this divine feminine, um, energetically, emotionally, you're quite balanced. So I see here that there is this, um, oh, there's something here about, um, a karmic person coming to know about you, something about a karmic person coming to know about you, some information about you, where they will try to make you jealous just to make you feel sad. But it's not going to make much difference because this divine feminine here, they are, they have went through a lot and they've grown a lot and evolved a lot. This divine feminine is quite strong here. But I do see here in this reading that this is coming about because meaning this karmic person, this jealousy kind of whatever they're trying to do. Um, this is coming about because Divine Masculine has decided to separate or to detach themselves from a karmic situation. So the karmic person could be a family member, a friend, a romantic partner, just take it as it resonates. But I do see here that they want to remove themselves from a karmic situation. And in that case, this person might try to um, interfere in some sort of way to get some kind of message out to Divine Feminine to make you feel jealous or to make you feel sad about something. But it's not going to work because they what they had before, this karmic person, what they had before, it's like they felt they had the support of Divine Masculine to back them up kind of thing. So it's like if they said something, it's like I have Divine Masculine on my side. But in this case, this Divine Masculine is independent. They have chosen to step away from the situation, from this karmic situation. And they 
clearly don't want to be associated with this person. So even if this person tries to come across or pretend as if they are still with Divine Masculine, it's like no Divine Masculine is nowhere to be seen because this Divine Masculine is keeping a distance from this person. Even if there's some sort of communication here, I see here that this Divine Masculine is trying to transform their life. They don't want to be confused. They don't want to be in a presence of somebody who doesn't know what they even want. There's something about, they don't want to feel lost in a place that is already lost. Like if this person is somebody who kept Divine Masculine in confusion, they don't want to be a part of that anymore. I see that this Divine Masculine wants to clear out things of the old. It's like, I don't want to engage in that kind of conversation or be around certain people that make me feel lost or confused about myself. This Divine Masculine wants to move forward. And I see here that they, consciously made a decision to break away from a situation where they can transform their life so this is the reading for today i hope you like this reading if you like this reading please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below remember to give a thumbs up and thank you all for watching have a beautiful day bye everyone